Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on, uh, on Undo. Wanted to do a bit of an update. We saw a big spike earlier this morning, but also just in general, a lot of momentum build up uh, since the market turned a little bit more bullish yesterday. Uh, it's mainly Bitcoin that's bullish right now. Bitcoin dominance is very, very high, but Undo uh, and also still increasing, by the way. But when, w once that tops out, <clears throat> I, I do think Undo has, a poten has potential here. In general, if you look at Ondo over the last uh, two months or so, it's been one of the strongest cryptos, right? For the for the most uh, for, for the longest time, it's just been consolidating here uh, between seventy cents and uh, then somewhere here, right? And that's what I wanted to talk about a bit later because the top of the consolidation is a bit weird, right? Because it's basically uh, this level between eighty six and ninety cents, right? That we need to break above. Uh, we tried to do so earlier this morning, like I said, with that spike also gained a lot of momentum but right now um it, it, we, we've had a bit of a drop all right you can see the momentum build up yesterday um a total of like 20 million dollars in, in positions were opened and then earlier this morning you had a closure of almost 10 million dollars so that's longs and shorts um so that doesn't necessarily mean everything but it does give you some sort of an indication so i wanted to give you my thoughts i think Ondo in general is a, is a great project to to follow i think it's a good coin to hold for the long term Maybe not from these levels, maybe aim for a little bit of a level lower at like 50 cents. Uh, but overall, it's a great project. It's one of the biggest projects in RWA. I know a lot of you are interested in it and trading it. So just wanted to give you my thoughts. So the situation and the technical structure right now is still the same. All right. And that is a consolidation between 89. Let's keep it at that. And then 72, 71 cents. That's the main consolidation. That's the main formation. So what you would say then is that, all right, well, if, if that's the structure, then if you hit the top of that range, which we have done, um, then it's most likely that afterwards we'll start to drop back down to, towards the middle of the range at 80 cents or towards the bottom at 72 or 71 cents. Um, so do I, unless there's something that, that kind of can prove the, the, the other scenario, all right, and that would be a bullish breakout. So that's the main question right now uh, we have to ask ourselves. Like, can we actually, is the market bullish enough? Is Ondo bullish enough to break the current structure to get a breakout above 89 cents and to rally up to the, to the next level at 96 and 98 cents? Because that would be my first price target up here. All right. And do I think the market is strong enough? Yes. However, the, the main thing we have to do is just wait for the confirmation. All right. Because right now, what I don't like about Ondo is that it does look a little bit manipulated by wheels, all right? If you if you get such a if you get such big sell orders and then such big sell sell orders or su such big buy orders, excuse me, and then these big sell orders, that means that they're they're playing around with the price, all right? So can we actually can we actually break out? Yes, right? I think Bitcoin, even if we get some sort of a pullback, I think Bitcoin on the short term will actually stay bullish, all right? So 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 that's good. Bullish market circumstances are good for all altcoins as well. Um, plus, I think that there's a good chance that Bitcoin dominance tops out or gets a local top soon. Uh, so that's also good for altcoins. Um, so I do think we can break out. But the main thing to watch is that open interest for Ondo. Because right now, th there's no, after such a big drop in the last three hours, there's no indication that we will stop dropping down. So I do think it's most likely on the short term that we will stay in this consolidation, albeit a little bit higher between 80 and 88 cents. Um, so yeah, I, I think we can break out short term. I think it's a bit more likely that we will stay consolidated down here. And ultimately I would say some sort of a level at 87, 88 or 89 cents. Keep, the, keep your eyes on that because if we break out above that and the market is still relatively bullish, that's when we will rally. And that is what I do expect. Just not, just not on the short term. All right. Not today. Uh, so that's what you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.